Nice one, Steve. Nice. Well done. <laughs> there you go, Sky. Better find him for us. Nice fish, buddy. <laughs> October mahi. Come to Alorada. Catch some mahi. I'm like, he's, he's not talking the truth, <laughs> is he? He's got to go looking. I have my last fish to the boat. There are no more swimming around. Nice it's fish. actually time to get cleaned up and get going. That's and then, one. lo and nice behold, I, I said, here comes a shark. And then I don't know if it was you or Scott that looked overboard and said, that's a blue marlin. <laughs> Plantation Boat Mart's Into the Blue, presented by Invincible, with Captain Scott Walker and Captain Steve Roger. We're in Almorada at Plantation Boat Mart, starting a new season. Got Captain Scott Stokey, he's gonna help us out. Gonna put us on all kinds of uh, pelagics, hopefully uh, tunas, mahis, muttons, sails, whatever it takes. That's what we love to fish for. He's uh, been here his whole life, he knows everybody. He's gonna take really good care of us. and. Uh, we're here at Plantation Boat Mart. We got a new Invincible to play with. And uh, our first day out, it was more than I could have ever imagined. How about you? Absolutely worth the, the drive up. You know, I came up and uh, here in Alamorada, it's about two hour drive from Key West, hour and a half from the Miami International Airport. Yeah. And the fishing was absolutely spectacular. Got a treat for you today. You don't have to do any of the work to catch fish. Yeah, you got me up pretty early. Got Captain Scott Stokey going to take us fishing here today. What's up, gentlemen? Stokey. How What's you doing? Up? Good to see you. Man, thanks for finding the time to take us fishing. Yeah. Show us around. Have How some are you fun. doing? Good. What up? Good to see you. What's up? Oh, how you doing? You got a game plan already? Yeah. We'll go catch some pilchards. We know how to do that. We'll go, uh, go offshore, look for some birds, get some tunas, some ahi. A little, little late season. October fishing? Yeah. All right. Well, I Down appreciate you uh, showing us around. We're going to be fishing out of here a little bit, so this is your area, <laughs> I'll right? I'll give you everything I have. Yeah, this is it. That's, <laughs> You're the man. Why not? That's why we called you. All right. I'll, and I'll give Steve the cast net to catch all the baits. All awesome. right. I'll throw it one time. One well, time. You get to dry throw. All right. All right. Well, we're well, out of the traffic. We're ready to go if you're ready. Yeah, let's do it. That's what you need us to do. Besides, so shut them off. Untie the lines. That's how, we, that's how we like it. Scotty, ready to go. Uh, that's a professional right there. The way I like it. You know, we uh, got to the marina, this beautiful place, three acres. We, we walked to the dock, Scott's on the boat. You know, he's like, here's what we're gonna do. Yeah. He's dialed in, he knows this is his backyard. And uh, we, we headed right out of the marina and a little protected area here. And, and he put us right on the action immediately. Yeah, man. Let's do oh, it. you, Scott. Let's do it. Take us to the promised land. Looks pretty nice. Plantation boat mark. Plantation boat mark. They got some... by this thing for 30 years. I don't know this much marina was in, in here. Well, there's some definitely inventory out front. <laughs> yeah, you stop looking at those big boats. Yeah. You don't look any further than there's a lot of motors. A lot yeah. of motors. I bet there's more motors here than there is in half the islands in the Keys, bro. <laughs> Rock and roll. How was your ride up this morning? Early. 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 I'm glad I live close by. Yeah. I left, I got up at 4, left at 4.55. My name's Scott Stokey, I fish locally here in the Upper Keys. It's been here for 51 years, mostly on private boats. All right, gentlemen, you ready to go catch some pilchards? Yes, sir. How deep? How deep? We're going to try close, we're going to try a place a in the neighborhood one. called Treasure Harbor. And if they're not there, we're going to go to the lighthouse, and then we're going to go Looking for birds, head towards uh, you know, 500, 550. I, I appreciate the specifics, but I've never been up here, so oh. all I want to know is how deep. So I know how many, <laughs> 550. How many, how many times, no, how many times I got to throw the net? Oh. Is I going to be able to see them in the grass? No. We're going to mark them on the machine. Mark them on the machine, they might all be right. flipping. All right. Scotty, got a sandball yep. mix already for you? Oh, yeah. Damn. There you go. Is Ready it really? No. <laughs> Is that that toilet bowl thing? That's it. Toilet. I've never, I've only seen that on the interweb. <laughs> Old porpoise. I did see that one. He looked beat up. All right, I'm ready okay. for speed. You ready to roll? Yes, sir. How 
how cool was it when uh, Scotty takes the wheel, slides us out of the, the boat mark, right through the toilet seat cut, and then we're going through Snake Creek Bridge uh, Inlet, outlet, and all, to get to the ocean. Yeah, it was really cool. That was the first. All those are first for me. First time through the toilet bowl. Uh, first time through Snake Creek uh, under bridge, under that bridge, and then the drawbridge actually. Yeah. And then uh, right on that bait, man. It was all just it was picture perfect. He couldn't ask for an easier situation. Oh, they just flipped right there. One thug. You're we're still watch in them. Yourself. In them? Yeah, we're still in them. Well, how far do I let it go down, big dog? It's 10 feet, so you're probably good there. What's on the bottom? Bicycles? Uh, yeah, don't don't let it hit the bottom. Motorcycles. Feel heavy? All right. Gentlemen, you about ready to head offshore? Yeah, man, I'll have everything ready for you. Find you that got our bait. Birds. Fly well is full. Yes, sir. Good to go. Mixed bag of pilchards. Do it. I know you didn't want to throw the net more than one time, but when it's all said and done, I was clean. You, you throw three or four pancakes, and we are baited up. There's there's no mess. Yeah. A little salt water, a little fresh water on top of that. We're out to sea with 500 baits, and it took 15 minutes. And it didn't take an hour to clean up, the like seagrass and all that. It was one-stop shopping, and man, that is a nice source. Plantation Boat Mart's Into the Blue, presented by Invincible, is brought to you by Plantation Boat Mart and Marina. Unbeatable prices guaranteed. Yamaha, reliability starts here. Waypoint, the destination for outdoor entertainment. Ameritrail Trailers. Battleborn Batteries. Spear One Charters. Nikon. And by Killer Dock Fish Cleaning Station. I mean, like, it was absolutely gorgeous. And he said that we're going to head right out to this famous Alamorada hump. The 409. 409. And uh, you can see the boats. I mean, it was no secret spot. There was plenty of boats there. Um, you know, I think most guys stay a couple hours and then leave, the trolling guys. So mm -hmm. it kind of, the, the crowd kind of dissipated. Mm -hmm. But um, we saw the fish busting when we got there. And I think we caught a few early, mm -hmm. which was great. Besides Blackfin's been around here right this time of season. Uh, a lot of football, some football. a little larger, 12, 14 pounds. Looks like the pilchard fishing's been very good in Almra lately. A lot of pilchards around, a lot of bait around. <laughs> that sled got us out there in like less than half an hour, and we were almost 20 miles out. Hey, no dead bait, not one dead bait. Not a single wells dead are, bait. Wells and, are perfect on that boat. And, and like I said, as we pulled up, they're already jumping. I was ready to start chucking them over and get busy. Once all the boats get there, it's <laughs> done. Got one? Scotty's on. That's the old uh, Sandy Key, or you went with the Razor Belly? That's a little Razor. That's what I just did. I switched over. Belly hooked. Oh, you, pop, you listened to the captain. I didn't. That's why you hooked Do I got to go, like, Fight the sharks or just enjoy this? I think enjoy it. All right, <laughs> that's all I need to know. This one's doing the tuna tango before he's in the box. Gotta be able to see color by now, Scotty. You got some pretty color. A black fin? Yes, sir. That's two jars. Since I started canning tuna, the sharks discovered the west hump. Don't get a chance to can much anymore. You want to lift them in? Yes, please. So he's going to rod tip them right in the boat. Oh, you can grab his tail. I'm going to pop him up here. I'll take that size all day long. There we go. Sweet. Now you're a member of Into the Blue. Snatcher. Nice one. It's out. It's in you now. All right, thank you. Over the rim and in the pail. Beautiful. I'm going to bleed him out real okay. quick. 
gonna get ugly in there. Well, the spree exciting to uh, get there. Scott set us up, got the chum line going, and everybody got a bait out, and I got finally got mine out. And I was the last one in the water, but I got the first bite, and uh, I had to ask Scott immediately, do I have to, do I have to fight this fish hard? He said, no, don't worry about it. The sharks haven't been bad. And I was able to enjoy it, let it take long runs, not try to stop it. And uh, there was our first uh, Almorada tuna, like less than 10 minutes after getting to the 409. Go ahead, no. Stokester. Oh, don't tell me we doubled up. All right. And I'm 500 feet down the bottom. Easy. <laughs> I might let Scotties go. <laughs> Stokey's just manhandling his stuff. <laughs> oh! No. I don't want to chafe you off. You think it will chafe off? Yeah. One more time. One more time. Come on. <laughs> nicer fish, bro. They are much nicer fish. Belly. Nice, Stokey. I prefer that gaff shot than grabbing that tail. Nice. That's what mine was like on that bait rock thing. Yeah. That's why it beat me up. <laughs> so, uh, you, had, you had him. I just got into you. I'm gonna, you put that in there. I might put a little... Uh, nice fish, bro. That's the real one. Nice one, Scott. All right, we're on the board. I'm going to spray a little water in there. Right. With the wash down. Watch that lid don't hit you in the head. Plantation Boat Marts Into the Blue, presented by Invincible, is brought to you by Invincible, when you're serious. Rodan Marine. Omnisense Systems. America Resort. Academy Sports. Have fun out there. Warbird Fishing Gear. Yeti. Built for the wild. Daiwa. And by Golden Boat Lifts. You know, we have plenty of bait left, so we made some more drifts. Obviously, you know, you love eating blackfin tuna. It's one of your favorites. And um, so we made a few more drifts, picked a few more fish. And as soon as it started to slow down, the sun got higher, the bike kind of slowed down. We was time to, you know, Stokey's like, hey, you guys want to go dolphin fishing? What's your plan, your next plan there, Cap? Go offshore. Maui Wowie. Look for an edge. A little debris. Fishing for tacos. Some weed. Well, the first plan worked out perfect. Thank you. Yeah, right. He had uh, heard through the grapevine, Coconut Telegraph, that there's some mahis out there, even though it was October. And we had all the faith in the world that Scott would pick us where uh, we had the best chance to catch them. And uh, so we uh, cleaned up, re-rigged for uh, mahis, and we took off. You know, obviously what we do, Scott, when we're dolphin fishing, it's the same everywhere, no matter where you go. You want to look for debris, you know, that be a weed line, or a, a buoy, a ball of rope, a uh, plastic chair, uh, birds, any of those things, signs of fish. You know, this, it was so calm, I was actually, you and I both were looking for waking fish. Mm -hmm. You can see fish out there actually pushing awake when it's that calm. And there was a little bit of trash in there, and man, did it pay off. Yes, it did. It started off small, but it got big. The mahi are jumping behind us. Yeah. You saw it, right? Yeah. Half mile. By the big white foam. Yeah. And the three of us, all having a 30 years of charter fish under our belt, did not bode well for that school of fish. <laughs> oh, that didn't that. last Ew. long. That, you got a fat boy. 
There's a money fish and another one on. I'll throw a little live bait over. Oh! oh what you got, the 20 pounder? Easy. All right, there's a few swimming under the motors now. Are you following your fish, Steve? I got my fish. Four. Oh, this is a mutt. I've got a, there's a slammer hook right there. Oh, they're striped up. Can you get that gas cut? I got a bully head here. I'd love you to gaff him, yeah. Which way? <laughs> Big fish. My name is Ryan Delatory. I'm the third generation Delatory family member to work here at Plantation Boat Mart. I want to take my passion, my family's passion for boating, pass it on to you. It's truly all created from the beginning. Since we are family oriented, that's something that's always been the backbone of this marina. So anytime from your purchasing the boat, to servicing the boat, to uh, going to the Bahamas with us, all our events, you're gonna feel it truly because of the family experience that we offer. It truly is a PBM lifestyle. Our goal is to always deliver the best experience to every person who walks on our lot, calls us, or even sees us online. We want them to walk away thinking, man, I mattered to them. They did everything they could to make sure I was happy. Let me tell you, another great thing that, that's happened here also, truly because of Invincible, is Into the Blue. And uh, <laughs> I've been watching uh, Into the Blue now for a very, very long time. And uh, the fact that uh, we're here now and, and uh, joining forces is truly a dream come true for me. They're 36. Invisible that they have now with that tower is truly amazing. It, it's set up unbelievable. These runs that they just did, 200 miles, like in a day, like no big deal. You know, it, it, it truly is an experience and I can't wait to get out there and start fishing with them. Big fish. That is the floats right there, your smoke. Nice fish, Scotty. You can let him go if you have to. It's not going to, it's a one-way knot, isn't it? It's so frayed up around that thing. Okay. Nice fish, buddy. I love it. I love it. That's a beautiful fish there, Stokey. <laughs> you get him on the big rig? You want to lift him up? I'm good. We got a bigger one over there on the other rig. We're going to go get him. Nice. Thanks, Steve. Let's see if I can get that out without getting hurt. Thank you. Captain Scott said we're gonna catch mahi and tuna. And we have caught mahi and tuna. We got some big ones on, buddy. Old Stokey putting us on them. <laughs> Here you go. Here you go, take the run. If he runs, let him run. Nice fish there. Hooked up, boys. Got the last one in the ocean. That's 30 pound. He can't eat this one. Nice one, Steve. Well done. <laughs> there you go, Sky. Better find him for us. Nice fish, buddy. <laughs> October mahi. Come to Alarana. Catch some mahi. I'm like, he's, he's not talking the truth, is he? He's got to go looking. That is awesome, buddy. Tell a few fish stories along the way. Fifty-five gallon plastic jug lid. Not the jug. Need a bigger cooler, boys. Over the rail in the pail, Scott. You got forty on there. So we're just finishing up. I have my last fish to the boat. There are no more swimming around. It's actually time to get cleaned up and get going. And then, lo and behold, I, I said, here comes a shark. And then I don't know if it's you or Scott that looked overboard and said, 
That's a blue bar. <laughs> I'm gonna troll you him. Want, you want to just slap yeah. him around? Where's he at? He's straight down over there. All right, Captain. <laughs> what a finish. Trying to say goodbye, but the Blue Marlin won't let us go. After that was over, it's time to get cleaned up, get back to Plantation Boat Mart. Can't thank Scott Stokey enough. Plantation Boat Mart, Killer Docks, Invincible. And I can't wait to get back on the water.